The inductor glass blaster, inductor max, and inductor pro max all have the same amount of power. The difference is the configuration of attachments. Auto glass, auto recycling, and truck bed liner installation companies. Collision repair shops minded for economy and portability. Collision repair shops minded for durability and security. You may have the glass blaster attachment as a hardwired unit called the glass blaster kit, as the U-series attachment or the I-series attachment, all of which do the same job equally. Induction heats ferrous metals, metals containing iron, using magnetic fields. This attachment's field bounces back and forth from pole to pole and is strongest in the middle by the size of a golf ball. The closer the load, object being heated, the faster it will heat. It also creates heat by the resistance of current through its load. The better the conductor of electricity, the less amount of heat created through resistance. But don't worry, we don't create enough current in ferrous metals to do damage to electronics outside of the effective field strength. The strongest part of the field is within two inches of the attachment. This is a demonstration of the effective range of the magnetic field on the glass blaster. Our vision is to create a healthy organization that converts induction technology into practical and profitable tools for global distribution. Our first application of the glass blaster is removing bonded auto glass. Since we heat the window from the outside of the vehicle, in most cases we don't need to do any preparation, like removing the interior trim. However, in rare cases, there may be electronic equipment mounted to the glass near the edges of the window. We want to remove this ahead of time. If applicable, wiring should be pulled back from the areas being heated, as current can be induced into the wiring. We want to know where the urethane bead is located. One way to do this is by using the L wedge. Laying flat up against the glass on the inside of the car, slide the L wedge until it stops and take a measurement of where the frit ends. The frit is the black masking on the glass that masks the construction underneath. Now, bring the L wedge back to the outside and make a marking on the glass where the urethane bead is located. Do this to all four sides. As an insurance for overheating to our beginners, we can spray a thermal gel around the glass or use a damp rag to keep the metal cool. The attachment is manufactured with a non-metallic tape to protect the glass from scratches. If your tape is damaged, you can replace it with any non-metallic tape or a replacement thermal tape we offer. We now want to start where the urethane bead lies, with an error to the center of the glass. Start in a corner and work six to eight inches down each side of the glass. This allows us to get the greatest amount of pressure farther down the window. Three signs will tell us when we have enough heat. The crackling of urethane melting. This sounds like rice cereal crackling in milk. A small steady stream of smoke, as also seen from a glass knife. Steam from water residue or thermal shield spray. The most important step we need to do at this point is apply outward pressure. So we're going to push from behind and or out with the L wedge. The initial corner takes the longest, but once the corner is released, the urethane then releases easily. We can also tell we have enough heat by the bend in the glass, but don't try to do this too much with non-tempered glass, as it may easily crack. We recommend you start with quarter glass and work your way up to non-tempered glass once you have a good idea of how much outward pressure is needed. We work this method all the way around the glass. Some windows have a rubber encapsulation which we can't damage if we intend to save the glass. So be careful as you learn the tool not to push the rubber against a vehicle as heat can distort it. As we slide the L wedge down the glass, be cautious that you don't overheat as the paint becomes more easily marred. Often the paint will come off with the urethane bead. Proper installation preparation is required as industry standard. Before you know it, we've worked all the way around the glass. We got this window out in about nine minutes. Induction Innovations is a family owned and operated company. Spray on bed liners can be a bear to remove by conventional methods. 
With the glass blaster attachment, we can reduce labor time up to 88%. It is easiest if we score the liner before we heat. Place the attachment only on the liner, as the liner protects the attachment from the radiant heat created. Using a metal scraper, follow the area heated. Be careful not to heat the metal scraper within the magnet's effective field. Under full load, the glass blaster attachment uses up to 100% of the inductor's available power. SMC panels can't often be salvaged with knives or wire due to inaccessibility to the angles. Since these panels can be scratched more easily than glass, we want to protect the panel from the attachment with a dry rag. Since finding the urethane bead can often be tricky with SMC panels, we have to bend the panel and want to look for a reflection of light in the bend which indicates where the urethane bead lies. This SMC panel was removed in 13 minutes. The basic principle involved in induction heating was discovered by Michael Faraday in 1831. The glass blaster has many other uses. Use the diagram of the magnetic field shape to apply to any ideas you may have such as sound deadener and underbody coating removal. Just remember not to touch this attachment directly to metal or anywhere with significant radiant heat. This will damage the glass blaster attachment. <laughs>